how to create a custom product using Alibaba. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how you can use Alibaba and Shopify and create your own custom products and sell them on your Shopify store. So let's get into it. Now, before I get into showing you guys how to do this, I'm gonna actually show you guys this website where they are actually uh, using Alibaba as their supplier and they're selling these items. So let's go into their watches section and let's go into their best sellers and I'll just show you guys an example of what they are doing so let's go into men's watches over here and if i go into men's watches i click on shop now you can see over here that they have like minimalistic watches or any kind of watch and all they have added is like a simple logo so you can easily follow suit and these people are selling these watches for around 80 to 100 dollars and if i whip out my handy dandy calculator over here if we were to account for this so these people are selling these watches for a 80 dollars okay now, if I go on to Alibaba and I search for watches, which is basically their supplier as well, you can see that these watches are available anywhere from 10 to 5 to $20. So most of these watches are in under like the $30 range. You can find like great, you can see over here, custom logo, high quality, elegant, big size of watch. So they will print any kind of custom logo that you want. So let's say we want to add custom logo watch. So if we just even look for that and take a look at the listing. So you can see over here, this is for $7, $13, $3. So nothing is going to exceed $30. $30, even that is a bit too much, but we're going to run along with $30. So MBMT is selling their watches for around $80. And if I was to take a look, 80 minus 30, then they are getting a $50 profit on every watch that they are selling. So even if you were to exclude like shipping costs, so let's say they're paying $20 in shipping and all that then they are still making $30 profit on a single watch. So you can easily follow suit and create your own custom products on Alibaba. So how do you do that? Well, it's a pretty simple and easy way. Now, first off, you can go on to Alibaba and browse products. But if you are running a Shopify store, for most people, I think it's the easiest way to create their e-commerce business is by signing up with Shopify. So if you just go on to shopify.com and you're just going to enter your email address and then you're going to be signed up to your store and then you can click on online store and create your store. Now to integrate Alibaba and you know create your products and sell them on Shopify directly from your Shopify account without having to buy the products on Alibaba then get them shipped to you and then shipping them to your customers you can just go on to Shopify click on applications over here or apps over here and once you click on apps you can just search for Alibaba and you can just link it over here and you can just click on the application and now you have drop shipping on Alibaba so basically you can add products directly onto your Shopify store via Alibaba and let's say um, we want to create custom stickers so i can just click on over here on custom stickers and you can see they have like different kinds of example products for you if i was to search for custom logo watches even search for anything you want any business idea that you have you can probably find a listing on alibaba for that product now there are two ways that you can do that as i said you can directly link Alibaba onto your Shopify store and then go on to the dropshipping method where basically uh, once you receive orders they will be directly sent to the sellers and they will supply the product to your customers in that way you're going to be saving time you're going to be saving a lot of money as well in terms of shipping costs but if you want to have more control over your brand you can just go on to Alibaba order the custom logo items yourself hold the inventory yourself and then ship them to your customers from your Shopify store by yourself now in that way there is a pro of having the ability to do more due diligence so if I was to search for a watch over here and maybe if I received the watch and it didn't look as high quality as it looked in the picture then i would be able to tell and i would you know not send that to my customer but if i was using the drop shipping method i might not be able to do a lot of due diligence on the product after like receiving the first couple of samples they would be sending the products directly to customers and if customers have an issue then you would be the person that is held responsible now what are some of the important and essential things you need to know before you get started with ordering custom products on Alibaba. Well, there are a few things you need to keep in mind when you're ordering custom products with Alibaba. 
And I have these questions over here. So other than the customization questions, which I'm going to tell you guys at the end, these are the important questions you need to ask. The payment terms, if the products have any patented designs, if they are going to give you custom packaging options and custom labeling, if they have any previous experience working with like Amazon FBA or any Shopify store, what are the closest ports to the location of their you know, production house or what kind of production time they have if they are going to return you the sample fee. So if you go on to Alibaba over here and you order any kind of sample, usually it costs you a lot more to order the sample than it would to cost like an entire bulk stock because obviously they are dealing in bulk. So if they're going to later on refund that $20 to $30 that you initially gave them as a sample fee and after that if you ordered more then would you get a return on the sample fee? And then you also need to make sure to ask them if they are a manufacturer or a trading company. With trading companies you probably cannot negotiate a lower price but with manufacturers there is usually more space to negotiate a lower price and if the minimum order quantity is negotiable obviously you don't want to be holding 5,000 wristwatches and turns out no one is interested in buying wristwatches anymore. So you need to be a bit careful with the amount of inventory you are ordering. And if they, uh, if they allow test orders, what is going to be the material or the quality of the product that they are providing? And if they will provide you with a 10% discount, usually you can negotiate like a 5 to 10% discount with Alibaba sellers. And if you can do inspection on the products and how are they going to ship the products to the customers or how are they going to ship the products to you? So these are all of the basic questions you need to ask. So if I go on to Alibaba over here and I'll continue with the watch example and I'll go on over here and then let's say I'll search for custom watch. So I'm going to make a space over here and you can see over here custom logo watches build your own brand logo now you can see over here that they're going to offer me a 19 dollars price if i order 10 to 49 items or pieces and then you know the price goes down as you order more pieces now what you can see over here is that uh, the estimated delivery time is five days even though more quantity is 10 pieces if they order customized packaging they have answered that with 10 pieces if they have graphic customization with 10 pieces so you can see over here that they have a very specific rule set out now with your customization what you're going to do with all of those questions you're just going to click on contact supplier and then you can click on your account over here i'm going to just log on to my alibaba account and then you can send an inquiry and ask them about the product. You can ask any of those questions and then you're going to ask what is the customized product going to look like because you need to decide on fonts, you need to decide on colors, you need to decide on color schemes. So let's say you want red text on the red watches and yellow text on the orange watches. You need to be able to communicate that beforehand to the supplier because you don't want any mess up later on and having to redo inventory all over again because you know you were not able to accurately communicate communicate the uh, customization that you wanted. So that is how simple and easy it is to create your own custom product on your Shopify store or create your own custom products from Alibaba. I hope you guys found this video helpful and you're now able to make your own custom products as well. Make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will catch you guys in the next video.